Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be doing a comparison video of the Surface Laptop Studio and the Apple M1 Max. Now the Surface Laptop Studio has a 14.4 14 inch touchscreen, Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of memory, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, and an RTX 3050 Ti from NVIDIA. The Apple has an M1 Max chip with 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, 16 core neural engine, 64 gigabyte memory, and a four terabyte SSD. What we're gonna do is, um, in summary, I'm gonna show you an unboxing. Uh, we just unveil the specifications and we're going to do a comparison of the editing and scrubbing and video rendering on Premiere Pro. So I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 2022, the newest update. Um, some 
keynotes uh, about the Surface is if you get it at Best Buy, it currently comes with three months Xbox Game Pass and a Microsoft Xbox controller for free. So that's something to consider. When I started the Surface Laptop Studio, it started updating with a lot of files and it took about an hour or maybe a little more to finish updating its system. It doesn't come with a Surface Pen, surprisingly. I thought it would come with a Surface Pen, but it didn't come with a Surface Pen. I did notice it's a lot lighter than the MacBook Pro 16 inch. The 14.4 inch is a lot lighter. You could carry it with one hand compared to the MacBook Pro. I can carry the MacBook Pro with one hand, but it's hefty and I can only do it for a limited amount of time. Now, the render times. So it took 12 minutes and 29 seconds. The video is about, about five to eight minutes long. It's a 3840 by 2160, 24p, uh, used maximum render depth, software encoding, profile was on high level 5.2, bitrate encoding, constant bitrate 100, with maximum render quality uh, set. Now, the MacBook Pro took 12 minutes and 29 seconds. Do you know how long it took for the Surface, which only has 16 gigabytes compared to the 64 gigabytes of memory and only a 512 SSD storage? The Surface Studio took seven minutes and 20 seconds. It was almost half of what the MacBook Pro took. to encode an H.264, 3840 by 2160, 24p uh, video file. I used maximum render depth. I used hardware encoding, hardware encoding for the Surface Laptop Studio compared to the software encoding. The Surface NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti allows the program to use hardware acceleration while on the other hand the macbook pro does only use software encoding and doesn't allow the hardware encoding acceleration feature as of yet which is silly because it has 32 core gpu that is basically not being utilized for render quality um the Surface Laptop Studio will get noticeably hot when you're scrubbing the, the timeline as well as when you're rendering it out with a, while the MacBook Pro doesn't actually get noticeably hot um, until you start rendering the video out. Games that are playable on the MacBook Pro that I am fond of is StarCraft 1 and 2, Diablo 3, and Minecraft. 
and I may say, may I say that Minecraft plays beautifully at the highest settings on the MacBook Pro. As well as Diablo 3. Um, so in conclusion, the Surface Laptop Studio is faster on rendering times but it's slower in every other regard scrubbing on the timeline is um glitchy at best compared to the MacBook Pro where it's nice and smooth. The fans kick on a lot on the Surface Laptop compared to the MacBook Pro where they uh, only kick up when you're rendering the video out. And you can play a few games on the MacBook Pro, the ones that I mentioned, Minecraft, Starcraft, Diablo. Um, but if you like playing games and you want something portable, a portable game machine, with the touch trans touch screen. Oh, by the way, the touch screen is something that I'm, I I really like on the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. The touch screen gives it this this tablet ease of use. Um, if it wasn't so slow, I would think three times. I would say think twice about it. But I already thought twice about this computer. But my conclusion is I stayed with the MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's just overall a much more powerful computer. And I'm hoping that Adobe Premiere Pro will utilize the 32 core GPU in the future um, with a s simple software or firmware update. And then we can get the same if not faster rendering times on Adobe Premiere Pro with the MacBook Pro using hardware acceleration. And uh, that sums it up. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't find this review helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you uh, would like to subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I just wanna say thanks. Thanks for watching.